<laughs> so just a geek love episode one. Any geeks here? Comic Con is the perfect place to find your geek soulmate. This is a geek I'm more of a nerd. Oh my god, are you a brony? Oh yes, I am. Oh my god. The girls What a surprise. Party? Oh my god, are you a brony? That's kind of what I expect. What is this? That's a very legendary oh, style. Yes, I am. Oh my god. The girls that I really do like just want to be friends. I'm kind of like nervous sitting around you right now. What comics are you reading? I have a lady boner for Winter Soldiers. Friends. Greetings, Earthlings, or welcome to our universe. <laughs> Wait, was that Gaben? That looked like Gaben. <laughs> it's fucking Gaben. He's being a Star Wars fan. <laughs> when you're at Comic Con, the people in this world are different, and it shows. <laughs> you're a troll. Yes! I think it's really important for geeks and nerds to be able to find love just like it's important for everybody else. Yep. Geeks are sexy because they're just sexy. This is 18 and over, so I can say it, because they can put a lot of imagination into the bedroom. Well, Three, two, one. I want to find I'll love with her. Three. Her. Three, two, one. On to the next date. Sci-fi speed dating at Comic-Con is the perfect place to find your Ooh, geek soulmate. That's cool. Over 18? I'm 13. You're 13? Yes. Inches? It's a, no. <laughs> around? Uh, maybe around, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looking for guys or girls? Oh, girls, definitely. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of girls going there. Hi, I'm Alex. I am 25, and I am a giant geek. What all the art I usually here? get at Comic-Con, it's all up on the walls here. Every kind of trip to Comic-Con, I usually get a lot of po art. My love life status is a mix of forever lone and socially awkward penguin. It's meme-tastic. You know, characters that I love, you know, Rose Red from Fables. It was 25. I love redheads. Big fan of them. One of my favorites is uh, this piece here. Just all redheads. <laughs> I'm a renaissance geek. I like comics. I like board games. I love Doctor Who. And uh, I'm also a brony. <laughs> so what a brony is is someone who watches My Little Pony. OK, this is a uh, Pinkie Pie. You think bronies are like a meme, but it's actually a real thing. It's I so hard like... to grasp. It's the party. Like, there's so many. Why a brony? I don't understand. So uh, this is Applejack here. Uh, she's She owns a farm in the show. And uh, I like her. She's sort of the no-nonsense, hardworking one. Every Thursday, children. I go to board game night in Brooklyn. Board games, ho! Nice. You're going to all see that you have a certain amount of quarters and uh, tubes that are required. Yeah. So take those amount. Okay. My favorite thing about board games is how it, it can bring people together. What Same kind of girl weeb? do you want uh, to meet? Weebs are aimed at adults, though. Like, uh, I mean, there's many types of nerds. So Someone, like, yeah. What, <laughs> what um, type of nerd would you like? Really? No, seriously, though. Like, what type of girl would you optimally like to meet there? Thank you. Yeah, I guess you, but not crazy and hyper. So you essentially want my non-evil twin. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. That's a little creepy, Alex. <laughs> Some of my challenges with girls are just the girls that I really do like, that I'm really interested in. I just want to be friends. What kind of questions are you going to ask? I never had a problem. Who's your favorite pony? <laughs> oh, my God. Are you a brony? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, my God. You know that's up there with MMOers, right? No, it is. Yes, it is. I'm referencing. So, okay, I'm gonna pretend <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm cosplaying as Neil Gaiman's death, okay? <laughs> so you would come up to me. Some of my challenges with girls are just talking to some of them. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm Carolyn. Nice to meet you, Carolyn. Nice to meet you, too. So, I, I guess you're into Neil Gaiman, but the, uh, I do. I yeah. like him a lot. I really like all of his comics. What kind of comics do you like? Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of comics. What else are you into? I like ponies. That's cool. I like My Little Pony, too. <laughs> That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Hopefully, you know, I meet someone there that I really do like, <laughs> that I'm really interested in. You know, hopefully it's not some half-hearted thing, you know, that it's like, oh, no, I really do like her. Hopefully she likes me, too. 
Because then it's just, there's no point. You don't want to, that's called stalking then. Don't do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> what? What's great about geek love is you could be yourself. Yo, send them. I think it's really important for geeks and nerds to be able to find love just like it's important for everybody else. Nobody really wants to be alone. Here come the potential men. What I hope comes out of this is a date. <laughs> any date. I think any date, maybe. Guys, leave all your bags and stuff over there by that table, under the table. I definitely uh, like someone who has red hair, a unique face. You know, someone who doesn't look like everyone else, maybe. Move on in. OK, guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sci-Fi Speed Dating. Ladies, do not use this as an exercise to perfect your friend zoning technique. <laughs> the friend zone sucks. <laughs> And escaping the friend zone is like threading a needle while jumping on a pogo stick, well, evading like sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their frickin' heads. Dates are three minutes long. Every three minutes, get up and rotate. Ladies, please have a seat. It would be great if I could find the perfect match, someone I like, someone who likes me, maybe. But I'm, I'm open to see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Imagine right, the three, smell. two, speed date. So, uh... How long have you been? So, how have you enjoyed Comic Con so far? <laughs> what? How are you enjoying Comic Con so far? <laughs> it's tough at first, you know, it's like. <laughs> Hi. So, I'm wearing a Russian shirt, so I'm kind of like nervous sitting around you right now. I wonder what her office looks like. I'm not sure, I'm not sure like. to die, don't worry. I hope you don't either. Yeah, no, I hope not. Alex is a very classical styled geek. He knows what he is, and he's proud of it. So, what are you into? I'm into everything. Nice. Uh, comic, video games. Uh, board games? I will play board games. What is he having in her head? I'm listening up. You know, it's, it's like, a I'm sort of trying it. to take it as I go. Uh, no toxicity, guys. In the health education. You're getting banned. Okay. Health ed teacher, putting condoms on bananas, things like that. It's always fun. It always, you know, shocks people when you pull the banana out. Like a grafter, thank you. Uh, what's the weirdest museum you've been to? The sex museum. Made of males. <laughs> Her fandom doesn't have to match mine, but all it, women you know, are beautiful in their own way. A little bit. I love the Kirby shirt. Thank you. Nothing like a little innocent, dirty humor. Yeah. <laughs> I like that she had a uh, you know, huh? you know, sexually funny Kirby shirt on. Uh, but I want you inside me. Uh, video games? Yeah. Have you played Journey on PS3? I love it. Oh Journey's my gosh. Awesome. Cool. I Someone love else. it. So he seemed really interested in what I do, um, and and he was really nice. It was very fun talking with her. You know, I felt very comfortable with her. Oh, it was really cool. nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Bye. Yeah, she was cute. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Idris. Oh, you know who I am. Of course. Okay. Uh, Let me like make some Brandy notes and like. Yeah. yeah. Nice. High five. Yeah. What comics are you reading? I have a lady boner for Winter Soldiers. <laughs> Is it the bionic arm that does it, or? No, 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 no. His, his ass pulls. High five, attitude. a girl. Okay. That's how you build. Yes. That's sort of a relationship. That's like catnip for women, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's going great. Uh, you know, so far some of the girls are great. So what are you into? Batman. Batman, Batman, Batman is my all-time favorite. Love being with here. Respectful Great costume, Blue Thank Thank you. You. He was a huge fan of Batman and Harley, so that always gets me going. Quiet, please, and sit down. Yes, yeah, so it's three this? minutes. I know you're not used to going. What's the form? Uh, Cypher spinning uh, number five. Who? Description. A yes, yes or no. No, yes, no, no. <laughs> He's picky. <laughs> oh, no, no. Quiet, please, and sit down. Yes, it was three minutes. I know you're not used to going that long. But yes, on the hot one. No on everyone else. Okay. Shame on him. Young Gabe. You've been keeping track of the people you liked. I know you're not used to going that long, but it's okay. You've been keeping track of the people you liked on your scorecards, yes? When I'm done talking, you're going to find the pieces of paper that correlate to the people that you liked. If you liked number five, you'll find number five's page. It'll say number five on it. If you didn't like somebody, don't write anything down. Okay, fair warning. Some of you are going to get no numbers. It happens. I apologize in advance. Just means it wasn't a session for you. All right, write your stuff down. Go. <laughs> uh, it's really hard to pick. I like so many of them. I like the girl with the uh, Kirby shirt. I like the girl in the uh, Star Trek too. I also like the one that was dressed up as Harley. Who knows, though? The ones I like are the ones that everyone likes, of course. So I'm going to go put my n name and number down and see what happens. 
Gentlemen, sit still, look pretty, puff out your chest. All right, ladies, <laughs> this is what we call the perfect match. This is a chance for you guys and gals to get three minutes with somebody that liked you, that you liked back, okay? It's hard to know if I've left an impression on the ones that I'd like, you know, it's sort of, so it's a tough thing. Ladies, do you have your perfect match in sight? Yes. Oh, no. Okay, track in on their hormonal signals. You need to run to him as fast as possible right now, go. <laughs> if you do not have a perfect match, it's okay. Quickly. But well, you need quickly. to shave your beard, though. Hey. Like, what is I'm this beard? Alex, so I probably, you know. Okay. Nice to meet you, Kate. Okay. You got it. It was, you know, someone who I actually liked. So she had red hair, which is cool. You guys beat the odds. You had a perfect match. Congratulations. That's really something cool in this thing right here. Let's see here. Take this. Beat the odds. Let's have a look here. They're all getting was, lucky. You know, nice. Someone who I actually liked. So she had red hair, which is cool. You guys beat the odds. You had a perfect match. Congratulations. That's really something cool in this thing right here. Take this time, talk to these people, maybe set up some time to hang out this weekend. How old are you as well? I'm, I'm 25. 24. 25, nice, good. There's like one 32 year old that still lives with his mom. I was like, mm -hmm. no. I kind of live with my folks still. But, yeah, you but know. I, I don't know. I feel like, like in the 20s, college. it's okay because yeah, no. especially the economy sucks. So, uh, you want to meet up sometime after this? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, but I've got a little bit of time right now if you want to <laughs> yeah, keep we chatting. Could, I could, we could walk around, uh, you know. Yeah. Got, I can walk you back to your booth as well. If you need okay. To ask. <laughs> cool. Thanks. I mean, it's like, you can do it yourself, of course. But, you, <laughs> but you know, if you want to yeah. go out the company. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you sure? I don't know. I, I'm hopeful. I like her. And I, you know, she kind of picked me. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Yeah. God, what is that okay. beard? So, is that like a superhero yeah. that has like Wolverine? Was that after talking to Kate, yeah. What happened after speed dating was that after talking to Kate, basically on camera, uh, cameras were off, and we walked away. And what happened was that basically, uh, she told me after about a minute. Basically, that she just wanted to be friends. So basically, kind of, uh, nothing ever <laughs> happened, of course. Oh. I understand. But it, it was kind of depressing. You know, it's me, I guess. That's, that's my life. Getting to here, I just want to be friends all the time. That part of the day was, uh, pretty bad, but the rest of the con was great. I got to meet, basically, uh, Bill Willingham, who did, who writes for Fables. It was awesome. He signed it to me. Sent this awesome piece of art that was free. You know, I got a lot of art. I'm, I'm happy about that. But, uh, any changes I want to make in my love life. If anyone of you, uh, watching, like what they see. Nice. I like the show. We'll watch one more. Now we'll play some Dota.